The ANSI system of FITS has three general categories. Running or sliding FITS, referred to as RC. Locational FITS, known as LC, LT, and LN. And force or shrink FITS, known as FN. The RC, FN, and other symbols are never shown on a drawing, but are used to describe the type of FIT. To show the tolerance or FIT type on a part print, a number and letter grade is employed. In this video, I will explain the running and sliding fits. RC fits have classes RC1 through to RC9. As the name implies, these fits are designed to allow suitable lubrication to running mating parts. As with any design, always select the loosest fit to meet the design requirements when cost is an issue. The RC1 fits have the smallest tolerance and the RC9 have the largest tolerance. When selecting the fit, the speed at which the mating parts move as well as the heat from friction and the working environment should be taken into account so that the parts will not seize up. RC1 fits are used when accurate location of parts without any noticeable play is required. In the drilled jig base shown here, the light blue V-block is designed to freely slide in the darker blue channel. In a case such as this, the channel or keyway is considered to be the hole, and the V-block or key is equivalent to the shaft. To use the chart in the determination of the hole tolerance, I must first find the nominal size within the size range column, which is 3 quarters. Therefore, I will use the greater than 0.71 and up to 1.19 row. By moving across the row to the right and using the RC1 column, I can see that the tolerance on the hole is 0 to plus 0 0.4, and the tolerance on the shaft, or in this case the V-block base, is negative 0 0.3 to negative 0 0.55. As you recall, these tolerance values are given in thousandths of an inch. Therefore, the hole's tolerance is the difference between 0 and 0 0.0004, or 4 ten thousandths of an inch. The shaft tolerance is the difference between negative 0 0.0003 and negative 0 0.00055, or 0 0.00025 inch. Now that I know the tolerance, I know the minimum allowable hole size would be 0 0.7500, the maximum would be 0 0.7504, the minimum shaft size would be 0 0.74945 and the maximum shaft would be 0 0.7497 inch. I also know the limits of the mating parts clearance. When both parts are at their maximum material condition, that being the smallest hole and the largest shaft, the MMC clearance is 0 0.0003 inch or 3 ten thousandths of an inch. Conversely, when the shaft is its smallest size and the hole at its largest, the LMC or least material condition clearance is 0 0.00095 inch. When I create a part print for this base plate, the hole callout will include the tolerance information as shown here. The H5 denotes the hole tolerance and the G4 denotes the shaft tolerance. It is optional to include the shaft tolerance with the hole. Notice the letter grade for the hole tolerance is always a capital letter, and the letter grade for the shaft tolerance is always a small letter. The tolerance information could also be displayed as shown here. In this example, the shaft tolerance is not included, and the actual tolerance values were included with the H5. I prefer this tolerance style as it does not require the machinist to look up the tolerance values and thereby reduces the chance of error and speeds up the manufacturing process. Earlier I mentioned to use the loosest possible fit which will meet the design requirements. The function of this V-block is to align the boss on the part in the drill jig. The tight tolerance is achievable but will increase the cost and is too tight of a tolerance for this function. I should look for a more suitable tolerance. The RC2 fits, also known as sliding fits, whereas the RC1 fit is known as a close sliding fit are designed to provide accurate location with a greater maximum clearance than the RC1. This fit was not designed for free running parts and larger parts could seize from small temperature variations. An RC2 fit would make the maximum slot size 0.7505 and a maximum clearance of 3 ten thousandths of an inch. 
This would be cheaper to manufacture, but it would be easier to machine the final slot with a three-quarter end mill, and any runout of the tooling might cause the slot to be oversized. The RC3 fit, known as a precision running fit, would make the maximum slot size 0.7508. This fit will work as long as the three-quarter end mill does not run out in the machine spindle and cut the slot larger than the 0 0.7508. The RC3 fits are designed to be the tightest fit which will allow the free running of parts at low speeds, low bearing pressure, and light journal pressure. This fit is not suitable where there will be noticeable temperature changes during operation. The RC4 fit, known as a close running fit, would allow the maximum hole size to be 0.7512. These fits were designed for running parts on accurate machinery which have moderate speed, bearing pressure, and journal pressures. They allow accurate location with minimal play. The RC5 and 6 fits, known as medium running fits, are designed for machines running at higher speeds with large bearing pressure and heavy journal pressures. The RC7 fits, known as free running fits, are designed where accuracy or mating parts is not essential and where there will be large temperature variations. These will not allow the precise guiding of a shaft. The RC8 and 9 fits, known as loose running fits, are designed where very loose running fits are acceptable and there is a concern that contamination from dust, corrosion, thermal or mechanical deformations are possible.